How much will this be? This fall attack will be at the highest amount of damage you see. 210k. And it hasn't ended. I can break this guy. So this he will do so much. And the fall as well. 120k into 170 Hello, Internet! With the release of the new relics, I formed them so you don't have to. We have Dr. Ratio today on the best setup for, I guess, most DPS, especially for this week. Now, based on Prideman, this should be the best setup for Dr. Ratio with the Pioneer set and Glamoff set. If you can get 160 speed for the Glamoff and you can land three debuffs or more, so you get the maximum effect from Pioneer, you should get the highest amount of damage possible on someone like Ratio. Mainly because with this MOC, the enemy is forever doused with like three or more debuffs constantly. However, the problem running a settle like this is just the stat line. Look at this. It's really not that good, huh? You need 160 speed somehow. I ended up with a really, like, awkward middle position where I have some speed, some crit rate, not enough crit damage, but not enough speed either. With run mate and Tingyun combined, which should be the best setup for ratio, but let's just see how good are these sets, and if it's worth it for you guys to farm it. Plow her with your statue! Oh yeah, that's the vibe I get from watching, you know, the statue just rigidly appear like that. First thing that you'll notice is ratio's technique lands the slow debuff on the enemy, so that does count as my pioneer set activation, I believe. Let's scroll down. Yep, there we go. Crit rate, crit damage boosts are increased, right? That's nice to be landing the debuffs, I, I'm pretty sure. Now, right now, my crit rate crit damage is still not that high. I don't have the summation stats, which I will be trying to get. And the problem right now is I don't have the crit rate, so I probably would miss a lot, but I, I did hit that, so that's nice. Let's go with the E here. Bang, 23k. We did crit and 62. We crit all three. Okay, so far, so good. So far, so good. How much will this be? This fall attack will be it. the highest amount of damage you'll see. 210k. Dr. Ratio more like nuclear bomb. And it hasn't ended. I can break this guy. So this E will do so much. And the fall as well. 120k into 170. I cleared the first wave in what? Three actions? Yo. This will 1000% kill you, right? Like even if I don't crit, I'm killing you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. But you better crit when it matters. Ratio, I swear. So right now, I'm still not foregoing the zero cycle. This should very much be the zero cycle. If I can crit this and kill it, I activate my follow up on this wave, right? That is beautifully done. Best case scenario right there. Holy. Dunk down the chalk on the Kafka. We are having one of the best runs I've ever had. If I keep critting that, is, and I am, so heck yeah. User E, let's keep it going, dude. Bang 33 into probably 60. 74k. Now, I would say the glamour didn't even matter, right? Yeah, I, I, I can't activate glamour yet. Uh, well, just having the pioneers that is just good. Dev shreds onto Kafka now. And a uh, yay. Yeah, let's see this. Damage, man. 84k. Beautiful. This will break you down. That should be a lot of damage on the break itself. Bang, 68, solid stuff, and I did not crit. Damn it, dude. Oh, that might be, that might be the problem right there. Right, if I'm right, with Tingit's ulti here, I should get my glam up buff too, right? Or am I wrong? I thought if you use your ulti after using their ult, Oh, their ult. <laughs> Somehow I did not realize it's their ult. So I have activated a glam off that. I don't know if I'm right. I do this for a living too. What am I doing? I'm gonna go in and hurt Kafka, I suppose. Let's just get as much damage as I can on you. And uh, bam, I did not crit again. No. Ratio, you have 82. That's not 82. I swear to God, man. That's not. You better crit the rest if that's 82. I'm not killing this one. I spent way too much on Kafka. The double, like, miss crits was too much, no? We'll get the ult in. We'll still keep going, I guess. But uh, I don't think we can get this guy. Unfortunately, this is ulti on the uh, waifu 92k. That's a lot. What can I? I can't finish Kafka for sure with this, right? If I crit, so please crit. Are you? That's 82 crit rate. Is that still too low? If I crit everything, I definitely should have zero cycled now. Oh my god. And I get glam off from that. I didn't even check, but uh, whatever did. You know what? I'm gonna say it, right? If you have consistently. Uh, 160 speed or above, it's worth it, but rarely ever you get that, though. Like, it's, like, so hard to have that. I'm not gonna lie. You're missing the crit. Like, it's your job to do that. What are you doing, man? Is it just me? That's not 82 crit rate. That's bullshit, man. Watch this not crit again. Dude. <laughs> 100k. All of those missed crits are supposed to be 100k's, man. Like, how much damage have I wasted? I might take a whole other turn now, no? Can we not? You better kill it with this. Oh, I think you will. Thank you. Back. There we go. That's one cycle of glam off, and I suppose now that I see how important the crits are, maybe it's time to swap it up. So intermediately right now, what I can observe is glam off would be good, but you kind of need 150 speed natural and ratio plus raw mace passive, and then you get 160, right? That while having the need to have enough crit rate and crit damage and attack, like, I don't know how you're gonna do that. I think any normal person would just not try glam off. It's really hard to get it right. Now, if you're like a mid-maxer, absolutely try it, right? But if you're like a casual player, you know what? 
stick to it ourselves, so though. That's what we'll test now with extra crit rate from the set effect, right? I have now 5% extra crit rate from earlier. A bit lower speed, a bit higher crit damage, a bit lower attack. Let's see how much more consistent this would be. And maybe, just maybe, we can finally get that zero cycle. Pull out her, but this time crit her too. The statues are so silly, man. Right, this time we'll just forego the glam off, which honestly, realistically, I just don't know how. Like, even for whales, you will have to be really lucky to get a 150 speed. Not the ratio, I guess the 160 would run me, right? But either way, let's say with more consistency, I plus 5 crit rate, right? From my freaking inner cell setup. Let's look at that. I have 71 now with Pioneer set as well. So great. Let's keep that going. Now, I crit all three times earlier. Can I crit all three times here? I missed one, but that's not the big one. Okay, this is the big one. Not the end of the world. Yeah, not the end of the world. It's not 100, so I don't expect it to be that consistent. But you better not just miss every crit like I did Kafka earlier, man. Here goes the Pella. Shred their defenses and throw the chalk in. 194k. We can already see the damage is actually lower here, huh? That's a little bit weird to me. I mean, it's still like, what, 6,000 difference? Like, who the crud cares? Let's just kill this green guy. 112k to 181k. Okay. It's about the same. Now, I didn't even have Glamour consistently available. So I'm very certain with Glamour full effect, it is still the best. But man... What beast would have those sort of relics did? I cannot believe that. Everyone's still dead. I'm pretty sure I can still only use one E. That should finish you off. Let me see. Let me look at my stats now. Eight, 86, which is 4% higher than last time, right? So surely we'll add it more consistently, please. Back. There we go. We activate our follow up here. Perfecto, actually. So bam. It's not that perfect anymore, actually. Never mind. The problem here is Kafka will take a turn. No, that sucks. I can only keep going. Now, the reason why Kafka will take a turn is. She resisted the slow from the technique. Gosh dang it. I'll keep going now. We'll have to reset maybe, but we'll see. We'll see. And a bang. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. If we don't want to reset, I have to cue you. Activate the wise man folly, right? And then use our ult again. Activate the wise man again. This is the only way. I don't see it being any other way. So bang. There we go. Just enough for me to break Kafka, I believe. That should be the Kafka. And a yeet. Got him. 85 into 112. Kafka's almost dead. How good is that damage, yo? Right, here comes you. Do not touch. Okay, you can touch that one. I kind of wanted you to touch her. Who else but the A on the preservation? She never let me down in terms of being hurt. So I guess now we throw the chalk on the hotter wife. Honestly, man, a Rheumatoz Spectral Envoy over Kafka all day, any day. Anyone with me? But bang, we did crit though. Wait, this could be it now. All I gotta do is Q on the Envoy. This will activate my follow up attack. That should do a lot if I crit, and I do. That's why you want consistency with these freaking hunt pack characters, dude. Touch you one more time. That's one extra death reduction. Do I kill you here? 120 uh, k That old most kills you. But is that enough, guys? Alpha, it's enough! I need to crit every time, first of all. I have almost 200 crit damage, thanks to Inner Cell Sword as well. Pioneer Online. I need to kill this thing with my E, which I should be able to do, and I need to kill Kafka with my follow-up attack. That's the only way out, guys. And you know what? I think we're gonna do it. Let's go with the E. Does shoot kill you if I crit? I do. Activate it. Please kill it's Kafka! <gasps> no. No, not like this! What can I do? There's nothing I can do anymore. Wait, do you push me up? <gasps> oh! Oh, nah, uh, imagine that. Hypothetically, the only way out there to zero cycle is if she targeted Dr. Ratio, pull him up, and I had to resist the domination. That means I would have been just got a free Brian push, right? That would be kind of funny, but... Oh, not gonna happen. I didn't crit as well. You just had to show me the 1%. Do I actually have to take damage? Oh, thank you. That was faster than the last time, though. It is one cycle, right? But I'm like, what? One action away from me doing zero cycle? That was pretty dang close. Now, Dan, for a, you know, final verdict on what I've got here. Firstly, I overlook the stats. I got 3.1k attack. Crit rate could be higher. 134 speed. 163 crit damage. If my trace was higher, level, like, if it's all max, maybe I would have got it already. And in terms of the sets, I would say just stick to inner cell soda. Very much honestly. You can go glam off the to get him to 150 speed with all the other stats in attack. It's just really, really hard. Now, if you're someone like Sila that gets speed for itself. Yeah, sure. But if it's for someone like Dr. Ratio, you probably don't need it. Although mathematically, it should be best though. And the main part of the video is the Pioneer set worth it. In conclusion, I would say numerically, these perform better, right? You're gonna do more damage, especially for zero cyclers. Although the difference is still not that insane that I would say you have to get them. Farm it if you're a really sweaty tryhard that wants a zero cycle and have everything mid max. It is definitely the best one so far. And if you're a casual player, I would generally say just avoid that cavern. Assuming you have them built already with a Two piece, two piece, right? Like, if you got the common builds like this one or this one, just keep them. Like, they, they still work, which is why I'm kind of weirded out by why they added the new relics. Yes, they are good, but they are only for like really hardcore players, and it's kind of niche to be honest, right? Like, look at Watchmaker, Break Effect, on Ultimate gets more Break Effect for your allies. Only Run May really would need that, no? And for this one, realistically, mostly it's for Dr. Ratio. Only Ratio has that many like chances of inflicting debuffs, right?
like he has that on his skill, he has that on his ulti. Maybe Yanching, but I doubt I doubt they remember who Yanching is. But anyways, guys, it'll be all for today. What do will be coming soon? So I might cover that as well. We'll be trying to break the game and find whatever, you know, Bilo looking character to break the game with. I don't know yet. But yeah, I hope you guys uh watch the warning way stuff as well if I ever go to that. And do comment down below what you want me to do. I sometimes take your comment and turn them into videos because I've got no life. Yes, that is all. Hope you guys enjoy and take care.